again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for game three. For my money, there's nothing better than postseason baseball. Every game is critical, and one swing, one air, or even one pitch can make all the difference. Let's get this thing going already. Roll the ball out there and let's play. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. Ian Anderson gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Time for a look at the Braves on D. And I'm locking in on second baseman Ozzy Albies right now. This guy is an elite defender. Came up as a shortstop through the minor leagues until he dislocated his elbow. Has since moved over to second base. And also, both sides of the plate, a switch hitter with this kind of swagger and this kind of defense doesn't come along often. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss as game three begins with a first pitch strike. Nothing in one. away hey if you're going to get a swing on a pitch that far in off the plate pretty much options are wide open base hit into right center throw into second and he's out trying to stretch it into a double so a costly mistake here leading off the inning now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup thoughts Dan who stands out well you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team I mean, this guy is a career 300 hitter. you talk about consistent he delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box I love watching this guy to the plate now Kyle Tucker as he'll take a look at ball one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Very mild temperatures as we begin tonight. 58 degrees here at first pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. 
you know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's Detroit's a pretty back. bad place to Carlos. be, but then he kind of refocused Morelia. himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Here's Carlos Correa now. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. One, two, three go the Astros. And now the Braves will step up for their first opportunity to score. Zach Grinke will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, please, Zach, what's the word on him? Well, with a guy like him, you're just looking for quality innings. Usually he'll give you six or seven, and he keeps the team in the ball game. But when you think about it, what else do you really want from your starter? He's capable of shutting a team down and dominating, but that's not what's expected of him all the time. Time for a look at the Strohs on D. And I want to focus on Jose Altuve. Pound for pound, the best player in big league baseball. A gold glove second baseman, he can do it all. Five tools, the ability to turn a double play with the best of them. So up steps Ozzy Albies. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading on for the Braves, the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. The 1 1 is strike two swinging. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Ball two. Here now the 2 2. The fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint to watching that high fastball, a high piece of the cheese swung at and missed. Ready. That pitch looks so inviting Swing to hit, man. but it's awfully tough to put in play. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. And he'll reach for safely. Geez, this looked like a routine grounder that just got away from him. Every school kid knows that you've got to look it all the way into the glove. He didn't, and now they've got to deal with a one-out base runner. At the plate now, Adam Duvall. He swings and grounds it to short. Fielded cleanly. Altuve for one. Over to Guriel for an inning-ending double play. We'll move on to the second now at Truist Park with no score. Striding in is Yuli Guriel. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. He grounds it sharply to third. And just passed his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. 
And that will bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. And he fouls this one off. Guriel on at first. Nobody out. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2 and set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know D. Rowe he is a pitcher's best friend Clyde Washington down in the strike zone he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees if he's consistent with it Dan which Clyde always is I'm OK with it. And here's a fastball on 0 2 but it misses 1 and 2 now. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count. But clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. The 1-0. Sharp ground ball to third. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. Well the pitcher's got to respect that third baseman that getting seven. dirty right there the trying pitcher. to save him some extra bases. Into the box now Martin Maldonado as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. The 1 1. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's 1 and 2. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Here comes the one two freezes him a strikeout looking and with two away let's give you one more look at the pads these two teams took to get to this game three of the World Series. Stepping in next Jose Siri twos all over the place two on two out and of course here in inning number two. First pitch of the A.B. on its way as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one from an offensive standpoint. This is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You've got a 1 0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. A fly ball well hit on the run is Heredia. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 0 ball game. This thing was a double or more the second it left his bat. He really drove it well, and it ended up one hopping the wall out there. And more importantly, he picks up two RBI along the way. So now to the plate Zach Grinke weak grounder down the first baseline and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits no errors and a runner left on 
We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Astros two and the Braves nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Get a run back in this inning. Give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 home is a ball below the zone. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's two and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Just flat out froze him there. Nothing too deceptive Back, about that four seam fastball. Baseman. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Riley. Stepping in now, Austin Riley. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball, he's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. And he misses there one and two one ball. high fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away something breaking down and away off the plate two balls and two strikes now. Line toward the gap in left center and he will make the play out there and there are two away now. Batting six, the left fielder, Eddie. Rosario. Next to hit, Eddie Rosario. Here's the first pitch now from Granke. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Wow, this one bounces off the pitcher. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. There's